Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evan and Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. There is somebody right now. God has called you to bring changes. You understand? God has bring, called you to bring changes into some circumstances. But you are doing all you can to be as positive as you can. To bring that positive change that you know that God said you should bring. You are doing all you can, but it seems as if those that you are giving that positivity, they are not willing to accept it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God is telling you, child of God, to walk away. If you cannot change something, don't let them change you. You have to walk away. It doesn't mean that if those ones did not accept the possibility that you carry, all the messages that you carry, there will be no someone else to accept it. When we are called, we are called to bring changes. We are called to bring the things that the world needs to understand, needs to accept. But unfortunately, you can find yourself in a situation where what you carry, it is not what they want. Hallelujah. Know that is, you are not carrying the right thing, but the right thing is not what they want. Hallelujah. They have already chosen. They have already decided. Now there is somebody, what you carry, it is a good message. It is a good motive. What you carry might be love. It might be understanding. You know, it might be peace. It might be unity. You carry it and you are spreading it to people. So when you spread it to people, but they don't accept it. They don't accept it. And you find yourself striving like, why are they not accepting what I am spreading? Why are they not accepting what I'm saying? Why are, are they not understanding what I am bringing to them? This change that God said I should bring. Why is it so difficult for people to see it? For people to understand. Hallelujah. I understand sometimes how frustrating this can be. I understand. But God also called you to walk away. Don't let them change you. If you cannot change them, let them remain the way they are. It is all to them and God. What you are here to do is to do what God says you should do. Your own is to do it. Your own is to do it. You know, I always say this parable in this place that you can force a horse to the river, but you cannot force the horse to drink water. Hallelujah. Even if you bring water to the horse and where you tie the horse in your yard, you can bring that water to the horse. But if the horse decides not to drink the water, you cannot force the horse at that particular time to drink that water. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. Glory our Father. God is saying to somebody that you have to walk away from some certain things that have refused to accept the positivity that you carry. God is saying to someone, you have to walk away from that thing that wants to kill the change that you carry. Hallelujah. Don't let that change you. You have to move and keep spreading the message. Yes, you have to go on. You have to move. You have to go forward. You have to go further and keep spreading the positivity that you carry. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There is an agenda of hell to silence a lot of people. They know that God has called you to bring that change. That is why the Bible says when you go to preach the gospel, when you bring the good tidings, when you preach the gospel, and you are not allowed, they chase you out of the city. It said, dust the, the, the sand on your, on your sand, that dust it in the, at the entrance or at the exit of that city, because that will be a witness against them. Because you are carrying the change. The change is in you. It is not something that anyone can remove. When you bring it to people, they don't accept it. Take it and take it to somewhere else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <clears throat> know that they don't know what you carry. You need to have this mindset that as long as, as long as the gospel of Christ has been preached in that nation, has been preached in that place, people have heard about God. They have heard, they have known about God, but they still don't accept it. It is not that they have not heard. It is not that they don't know. It is not that they don't know these things exist. You know, they just don't want to accept it. 
you bring a change into a home no one wants to accept it you bring a, a change into a place where you are no one wants to exchange it child of god you have to walk away even if you are still with them you walk away how do you walk away in the midst of people that you are still in it is by setting boundary setting boundary you know when we talk about walking with somebody will come and say oh it's, it might be a family it might be very difficult it might be partners so you set a boundary so that these people don't change you that is how you now walk away because bringing your opinion you see that they never really accept it that is why you now walk away you set a boundary and you keep spreading the message that god has given to you hallelujah god is saying to somebody right now don't let them change you he said, you have to walk away. You have to set that boundary. You might think, oh, you do need to go to another country, another city. No, you can be in that same place, but walk away from their attitude. Separate yourself from that attitude. Set boundaries, hallelujah, so that they don't change you, so that that thing that you carry, that they are refusing to accept, they don't destroy it. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord will help you to build more. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.